right I'm out here with my 3d printed drone again and this is the next step that I'm going to test is testing iNav with it and I do have a GPS you can see it right here and I just put it off to the side uh, so it wasn't in the way and interfering with uh, any of the signal coming from the receiver or from the VTX and down below I have a sonar slash optical flow sensor uh, hopefully I can try surface mode on that and see if that'll work uh, so that's the two things that I wanted to try to load up with iNav is that GPS and the uh, Matek LiDAR optical flow. So we'll go ahead and get it in the air, try that out. I did add uh, to the 3D print, I think this leg here, uh, just to make it a little stronger and we'll see how it flies. All right, let's go ahead and get it in the air. Welcome to OpenTX. See if it lets me take off. Nope, not till I get enough satellite. Try it in angle mode if it lets me. So it will let me take off an angle. So I'll just get it down around here. Keep an eye on my satellite. Seven still. Let's take it up a little. Still seven. Let's try over here. Just hoping I can get through the clouds a little bit. Because I've gotten up to 15 satellites here, but today. I got nine. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So I do have nine satellites. Let's see what happens when I flip it into into um, nav hold. Let's make sure nine satellites, and here we go. Doesn't like it. Let's bring it back down. Yeah, I need more. Still nine. Let's try here. all over the place. Let's try doing a compass calibration. Let's try doing the compass calibration on it. I did make a change in the GPS setting, so maybe that's what I need to do. We have 11 satellites now. We'll go into horizon mode. Something not right. Doesn't like being face forward. Let's try one more. Ten satellites. Nope. Now I'll keep it in angle mode. And try surface mode. 
altitude hold, I believe. Maintain the altitude. See if it goes down. It is going down with the terrain. I got hands free. So I know altitude hold is working. Altitude positioning. I try to bring it back. And my terrain is uphill, so it shouldn't hit the ground. Bringing it back, and it is going up. And not hitting the ground. See it climbing. Okay, so that worked. Now let's try surface position hold. So I'll hit this right here. This is supposed to be surface hold. This doesn't look like it's doing anything at all. So I gotta check the settings on here. So, so far, all I have working is altitude hold. Let's get my throttle in the middle, bring it back. So I'm guessing it is using that LiDAR optical flow to maintain my altitude across the ground, which is good. And that's really what I really wanted to do with this, to be able to fly it indoors. So hopefully... My next step is to try to throw this indoors and fly it around and see if uh, I can do it any better. This isn't bad so far. At least I know my surface altitude hold is working. You see again if I go down, it slopes. So it's actually sloping downhill and I'm not touching it. And then if I bring it back, it's going up with the tray. You can't do it too fast, but okay. So I'll go ahead and put it back in an angle and land it. Alright, that's it for the video. This is my initial try at GPS on the iNav. Uh, what, it, what happened before is I had this, it wasn't working, and I turned this to the side, and it was maintaining the position, but whenever I would go forward, it would actually shoot um, at a 45 degree that way. So I was hoping if I just turned this back, 45, so I should have turned it to, let's try. So let's go that way. It should be this way. You know what? Let's try it. I got it pointed the right way this time. Let's see how much I've got left. And try to put it into. Oh, there we go. So, what I had to do. Still circling. Yep, there's my circle. And I have it. And I know something's not right because whenever I put it in the position hold and push forward, it goes off to the side. Uh oh. Uh, don't know what happened, but. I'll let you see here, nothing cracked on it. it. must have landed just right. 
None of the props bent. Everything looks okay. Uh, so I guess, and the GPS just popped off out of here. So um, I'll go ahead and try to put this back together. I'm still trying to get this GPS working. Uh, this is my test quad, so if it keeps crashing, that's fine. I'll just keep printing out more 3D plates and trying it again. Again, my goal is to get iNav with GPS working on this. I was able to get the sonar working on here, uh, the LiDAR and optical flow, so that is a win so far. Uh, we'll just keep at it. All right, make sure you follow the channel. I'm going to be doing more tests with this, and I'm gonna, I will get this working eventually. i uh, not sure what it's going to take, but we will get it working eventually. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.